Good morning and salutations. I wanted I want to show you today what I, I just got this yesterday. This here is a um a guide by We Are Memory Keepers, and it is a it is a um book binding guide. What do they call it? A book binding guide. Yes, that's what they call it. Okay, now I just got it yesterday. It comes with this here. It comes with this little instruction book. It comes with a curved needle. It comes with a straight needle. And it comes with a bit of waxed linen thread. And it also comes with a nice little pouch to keep your supplies in. Um, these supply your supplies in when you're not using it. It's a nice pouch made out of it's like felt. It's really nice. Now I've already tried doing this video once and I failed. And so I've already got things done here, but I'm going to show you what I did. I mean, I'm going to show you, I got my holes punched. I am making just a small journal here. It is um, five signatures. And so what I've done now first is to take each one of my signatures and punch the holes. Now, the guide is in two pieces, the, the top part and the bottom part. And you will see this top part is like in a mountain, holding it this way, in a valley, kind of holding it this way. Now, on this side with the one row of holes is a valley. So, that's where you need to punch your holes in in the um, signatures. Now, I had to go to a video online that helped me by, and I watched a girl named Sea Lemon, and she kind of explained it. The actual little book that comes with the directions are very vague. They're, they, they give you some basic directions, but I had to go, I, I'm not a basic kind of person. You got to give me some directions. And so I went to this girl named C Lemon and she showed how to do the Coptic stitch. And even with her, because she goes so quickly, I was like getting all discombobulated, but I, I think I've got it. And so this comes also with this pokey tool. So what I did on this one, now on the guide, it shows you, because now you got valley into valley on this side. Okay, and it shows a hole every quarter of an inch. Now, you don't need to use every quarter of an inch. I don't believe that you want to use it that way. But, and then every half an inch, then, the, the, um, the holes are circled in black. So you can see them easier every half an inch but on mine I went and, and went every inch but I started at the you know at the top black circled one and then I went every inch down and punched a hole but now when I got to the very bottom I kind of had to cheat mine a little and where I went every fourth hole here I went on every third hole because a fourth hole would have been too close to the bottom so so what I have then is each one of them are an inch apart except the bottom one is only three quarters of an inch but as long as I have all my signatures the same way that will not make that will not make a difference. So you will have to figure your um you will have to figure your the the size of a book because your this whole thing down all this way is let's see how much space do we have. You have you can make a nine inch you got nine inches here so you can have your spine up to nine inches on here. Okay, so then for the covers now, I took two of the same size um, covers, uh, chipboards, I have these, and so I'll have my top cover and my bottom cover. 
Okay, so I got my top cover, my bottom cover, and they have the holes, but now the way I did them, I want to make sure I have this cover the same direction as my holes are, so you know that they're going to line up. And now that's where you use this side right here. Now you use this side here. You um, And now you're going to put this this piece on top but now you're going to use the mountain side not the valley so you're going to use it upward you get the same holes but it just fits on there right okay so you make sure you have your cover pushed up till it hits that inside this little green thing you know there's a stopper there so you make sure it's pushed up against that stopper and then you tighten the, the little screw things on here. You might have to press down. You don't have to have them tighten real, real, real tight. Just enough to hold it. And then you go through and you use the same holes that you used on these signatures. Use the same one. So I started here top and then I went every fourth hole. And that makes every inch. I went every four holes except the very bottom one because the fourth hole would have went right to the very bottom. I wanted it up a little bit so um, I only did three quarters of an inch right there. And so so I did that to both of the covers. Okay, now put these little screw things back in here because if I don't I will drop them in the floor and if something falls in my floor that's never found again ever. So I'm going to put that over there. Now, the way we start this is this here. I use the, here now is where you use the curved needle, which comes with the kit, the curved half circle needle. Now you, you want to have a pretty goodly length of string to start, but not so much that it gets um, all discombobulated you know in in the middle of your I'm draw, I'm making a knot here this is what I'm doing I'm putting a knot at the end of this string okay let me do that without talking okay there we go there we go now and we're going to start by putting on the back cover the back cover to the bottom to the so I'm going to turn all these over here so they're going to stay in line here and I'm not going to get them discombobulated and what I'm going to do now is I've got the back cover in its right place and I got the first signature so I'm going to open that to the center of that signature and I'm going to put my thread into that first hole and if you're left-handed you might want to start on the left side but I am right-handed so I'm going to start right here and then I'm going to I pull that through there and then I'm going to go to this first hole on the cover. I'm going to go around to that and we'll pull that up, put it in the hole, okay, and get my needle up here. It's kind of hard to hang on to a curved needle in my humble opinion. Okay, and pull that up like this. And then I'm going to go around. I'm going to take my curved needle now. And I'm going to go around in between that signature and the cover. And I'm going to take that and go around that stitch. You see how that stitch, you can see the stitch right there? Go around that stitch. And, and you just kind of wrap it around that stitch. And then you go back through the very same hole in the signature that you just came out of. You go back through that same one. So there the needle is coming out of that same hole. Then you go up to the next hole. You're going to do the same thing. So you're always going in from the middle inside of the signature. And then the needle comes out here, go into the cover, poke it into the cover, into that hole that's already there, the matching hole. 
and 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 there it'll come out see how it works better with the round needle you know even though the needle is kind of tight kind of hard to hang on to in my opinion okay so now we're going to pull that pull it kind of tightly and then you're going to wrap take that needle and go between the cover and the signature and kind of just wrap it around that little post that you see the thread okay once it's wrapped around that then you're going to go back into that hole back into the seam hole and then you're going to go and you're going to do that all the way up so here we go again in into the next hole pull it out get rid of the mouse and um okay and now we're going to take it back around the cover okay and there we go it's from the outside i'm going from the outside of the cover in and there we go and then i'm going to pull that tight and then i'm going to wrap take the needle and wrap you're doing a little wrap which is sort of like tying a little bit of a knot you wrap that around that post that you just created and then once you wrap it then you're going to go back down in that same hole okay which will get you now inside so you can go to the next hole I hope you can see this I'm just not a professional okay here we are out we're going to go back to that cover we're going to stitch that go in from the outside in pull the needle through there we go and then you do the wrap we're going to just kind of wrap that around it sort of makes a little knot and then you go back into that hole that same hole you just came out of now this is let's see I got I got it kind of loose there but I'm new at this too I just figured it out and I just figured I'd share here we're going back in from the middle of the signature around to the back cover and pull that through and we want to go I guess I need to pull that a little tighter um, and then I'm going to go around the post, the around the little string that goes over. I just call it a post. Um, pull it through around the post and then back, it goes back into the same hole. Now we're coming to the last hole. Okay, we go in the hole we're coming around to the last hole in the back cover and get that through there okay and then we're going to wrap it I just hope you can see wonder if I just let me see if I bring you up a little closer here oh that's what I should have done in the beginning okay there we go now I'm going to wrap that hopefully now you you'll catch up with me okay now we're not going to go back into this hole we're going to put on the next signature pick up that next signature that's already there ready to go and wait a minute I just lost a hold to my picture I can't watch myself okay now now I just took with the next signature I, I did all my signatures in different colors hopefully that this will work better that you can see now 
Okay, see, I didn't go back through in that green signature. Now I'm going to go, instead of going back through that same hole, I'm going to go to that first hole in that yellow signature. I'm going to pull that through. Now we're connecting the two, two signatures. Okay, so that's, and then you pull it through there, and then you go to the next hole down, pull that up, pull the needle through. Now you're going to go between the cover and the green signature, the first one, or last one, because we're starting at the back, and you're going to go around that little post again. See, you go around that and just pull your thread, and it sort of makes like a little knot. Now go back into that same hole. And we're going to come back through the next hole, through the next hole. Um, see, we're not going to the, see the cover is on, so you're not using that cover holes anymore. Okay, so you pull that through there. Now you want to loop around that post that we made between the cover and the green signature. Loop around that and pull. And there you've got sort of a knot and put it back into that same hole you just came out of in the yellow signature. Now we're going to go to the next hole. Okay, pull that up. Again, we just kind of wrap it around that post. I'm calling it a post. I'm not sure what else I can call it. We got that wrapped around go back down into that little hole. Okay, pull that through. See how the stitching is showing? Each stitch is like an inch long. Okay, then you go to the very next stitch. Pull that through. And then take your needle and wrap. Do the wrap. And see, you're always going to go in between the former two. You'll see how that goes. Okay, now I'm going to, we went around it, go back in that hole. Now we're going to go up through the last hole in this signature. And here's where you can complain about your arthritic thumbs if you want. Okay, give your hand a shake. And now I'm going to go around that post again. I'm going to go around, but I'm not going back in that yellow hole. I'm going to pick up my next signature, and I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to go into that hole that matches right down there on, on my red signature. I'm putting it in that hole because that's going to start getting that signature onto the book. I think. There we go. Okay, and we're going to pull that through there. Now, I, and now once you get it through there, you're just going to go to the next hole. The next one up. Okay, because now them, them two are attached with that thread. Holy smokes. Yeah, shake your hand. Stop and if you got to, you know, shake your hand sometimes so you, they don't get cramped by holding tight. I think after I do a few of these, I will get a little bit more. Um, it'll get easier. Okay, now I'm going to go through and I'm going to go through the, between the yellow one and the green one. See, because those are the last two. And I'm going to go put that needle through that around put that around makes that like a little knot and that's what's actually tying the signatures together and then back down in that same hole I just came out of okay now this is this is probably where if you've got it if you got the hang of it you can you can fast forward but see now here there we go. We came out, and I'm going to wrap around. I can wrap around. 
this, that post between those last two signatures and it will go put the needle back down in that same hole I came out of. And then up through the next hole. I think I'm keeping getting out of frame here. Let me see if I can scoot this. There we go. I'm not a professional. Don't try this. Well, yeah, do try this at home. Okay, out. I got it out of that hole. And I'm now, once I got it pulled out that new hole, I got that's where I'm attaching to the book. I'm attaching. So I'm going with my needle. I'm going around. I'm going between. Oh. Those last those last two signatures, the green one and the yellow ones, what I'm going between. And I am pulling that up into like a little knot. And then I will go right back down through that red hole. And now I'm in the middle of it. So now I'm going to go to the next hole. And this is really, I love how this looks when it's done. There we go. And I'm going to go between the yellow one and the green one. And I'm going to pull that thread through. And I'm going to, and that's the loop, and then back down through that same hole. All right, and then I'm going to come back up through that last hole of the red one. And then I am going to go and do the little wrap, which I'll get my needle aimed in the right direction. I'm going to do that little wrap around the post, I call it. Wrap around the post, and then I'm going to go and pull this through and end up again in the center. Now I am running out of thread. Oh, my goodness. So I'm going to just leave that thread loose for right now. And... um. Oh, wait a minute. I wasn't supposed to do that. That was not supposed to go through there. Okay, so let me get that back out of there. See that? Okay. Okay, that wasn't supposed to, that wasn't supposed to go through yet. Okay, so don't don't because now when this goes back, it's gonna go back into Instead of going back through that same hole, let me get this. I'm just going to make one. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up this next signature, and that's where it goes back through. So always remember when you get to the end, to the last hole in your signature, that now you're going to start um, getting the next the next signature on okay but now like I say I'm running out of thread so I'm gonna leave that little piece just dangle there just let that dangle and I'm gonna get some more thread now see I might be able to work like a little bit longer thread and I don't know I don't know that you can't like use embroidery floss or or something like that you know that might work just fine too. I'm going to try some of that. I'll just try whatever because if you use a pretty colored embroidery floss, I think that would be pretty, you know, different colors, um, especially if you have some embroidery floss that's um, multicolored. Okay, so now I'm going to, now see, now the next one, just like if I hadn't run out of thread, this is going to go up through that next hole like this. Okay. Now, I don't want to pull it up too far. I want it just to get, because like, I'm going to tie these two together in a minute. But before I tie it together, I'm going to first go, now I'm going through the between the yellow the yellow and the red. Make my loop. And then I'll go back through that hole I just came out of. 
Okay, now, now I'm going to take, because now I have, it's held tight. I'm going to tie these two pieces right here together. No, don't, 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 don't. Okay, I'm going to tie these two pieces together so that they won't come unraveled or whatever it is they would do if I didn't. Okay, so there. Now we again go to the next hole, and we're going to come up through the hole from the inside of the signature and pull that kind of tight here. We're going to, then we go do the wrap. See, I'm going through between the yellow one and the red one now, see. And I'm going to pull that pull that. It makes like a little knot. And then that's going to go, then I'm put, put, putting the needle back through the hole I just came out from. I hope this is making sense. I'm trying. I had a couple ladies say, please show us how that's done. And so I'm trying. Okay, now we're going to go back up through the inside because you're always coming out of the inside inside, then wrap, and then back through the hole you just came out from. The next hole, and then wrap. back through the hole you just came out from. Now you're going to come out through this hole and wrap. Okay, now once we have that wrapped, we want to go and get uh, got the last signature. Okay, there's only one signature now left and the back cover. So now I'm going to put on the last signature and the back cover. So I'm going to go to, I'm, okay, I hope I'm doing this right. I'm going into the bottom hole of the back signature. I'm going to go into the matching hole of the, not the back signature, the back cover. Okay, and we're going to pull that. Tight, we're going to go around and make the loop. And then we're going to go into the hole of that blue signature. That's the last signature in there. So you're kind of putting, you're kind of putting the back cover and the last signature in at the same time. Okay, so then that needle just went into the center of the, into the hole of the last sin signature. Okay, now, hope I did that right, but I think I did. Okay, now I'm going to go in. Through. Back in through that the next hole of that last signature. And I'm going to go around to the hole on the this cover. If I can find it, where my hole? Oh, there it is. Okay. And I'm going to bring that up.
Okay. Just a minute. My thread, my bit, and then you will come off. I hope I did this right or I'll have to start all over. I might have done it incorrectly. I hope not though. Okay, so now I pulled that. That's through there. So now I'm going to wrap it between the white or gray signature and the red one. Wrap that th right there. Pull that kind of tight. And then go back in to the blue. Okay, that'll come out of that blue one. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pull that. I have some kind of a feeling that I might be not doing this right. I mean, it'll work. Okay. Let me see. I'm going back now through the next hole. Okay. See, now I'm getting a little jittery because I'm thinking maybe I don't have this right. Okay. Okay, I'm pulling that through that hole. And then I'm going to come over here and attach it to the other signatures with the loop. And then I'm going to go around to the cover and let that come through the cover. And then back through that hole I just came out of in the blue signature. If I can see the hole. Okay, I'm going to pull that back out of the pull, pull that back through there. Elizabeth Marie, I hope you're doing this right. You're not leading the whole world astray. Okay, we're going to go here, pull that up to that blue signature. We're going to go over here and go around that post between the white signature and the red one to make that loop. Then we're going to go around and catch this. like this and then we're going to go you know what I think I was supposed to be making a loop you know what I don't know if okay this is going to go back I'm going to go just back into this hole now when somebody learns this better than me please make a different video I may make a different video. I may put this video up, but I don't think it's right. I do not think it's right. Something doesn't look right. Although it, it'll hold together, I do not think I'm doing this right. Now, where'd that come out of? It came out of where, came out of where it's supposed to come out of. Okay, now... Okay, it's coming out of that hole. We're going to wrap it here. And then, look at this. I got a big old lump. Oh. Okay. Now I'm going to... I wonder if I... Well, no, I'm just going to go through the hole here. Hole, through this hole. Mm 
like this. And wrap it. See, I didn't wrap it before. Maybe I'm supposed to wrap there too. And then go back through the blue hole. Yeah, I didn't wrap it there. And then put it back through the blue hole. Now. Now y'all go to see Lemon and watch her. She knows what to do. Okay, then I'm going to come through my last hole. It's the last hole. And then I'm going to go through the loop. I'm making my loop. And then I'm going to go to the front cover. I'm going to grab the hole to that one. Okay, and then I'm going to pull it, pull that through there like thusly. And then I'm going to wrap it around that string for some reason. I don't know why. Just because I think I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> now I think I was doing it right up until I got to sewing this front cover on. Okay, and then I'm going to go back through that blue. The last hole in the last signature that I'm tying on. And then, okay, yeah, I definitely made a big error. Okay, what I think I'll do is I will post this video. Because I just post even my mistakes. Just what the heck. Just the what the schmuck. I don't know what that schmuck. Hopefully that schmuck word isn't like a cuss. I don't like to cuss. Okay, so I'm going to just do that. And then I'm going to see what I have. Now this is, this is what the spine is supposed to look like. But when I was put, I am, now see the back cover looks like it's much tighter and better than the front cover. So I did something on the front cover, which I started with the back. I started with the back here. Okay, so, but I mean, it all opens okay. The pages are working right. This is the way it's supposed to look. This is the way it's supposed to look. Now, nobody will ever know that I made a mistake. What you're going to see, what I'm going to do is, now see, this isn't tight at all. Now, I can make a binding on here. I can put a, like, make a little wraparound kind of binding on there that'll hide the stitches, or you can leave the stitches show. But the only thing with this, because mine is loose, and I'm a loose goose, better than being a loose woman, then, you know, then I got that space. You can, you can see through it. So you can see through it. So I'm not sure. So now that I've showed you this, maybe I've showed you the wrong way, but I'm going to keep this. I'm going to make it. I'm going to finish this album. I might even send it to somebody as a prize. He's a losing prize. <laughs> the booby prize. <laughs> Somebody will get a booby prize. I'm going to make, you will see a part two. Or, yeah, out part two. I'm going to go ahead and post this one. So you'll see how to begin it anyway. And then you'll see what happens if you do it right. So I'm going to start another one. I'm going to drink my coffee here. It's getting cold. Mmm, mmm. Oh, is that ever good. Now, okay, so thanks. Thanks for hanging out with me all this way to see how not to do this binding thing. But I'm going to like it. I'm going to like it 
see it should lay flat but I got it it's not laying flat it wants to go flippy flop so that means I did something wrong but I'm going to continue I'll just put a little by a little thing on there that'll hold it shut I'm going to put a binding on her to cover this but I've got some more paper that matches this paper and I want to make little pockets and stuff out of that and maybe um Maybe once I'm done with it, I'll pick a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner for a booby prize. This will be the booby prize. Okay, so I am going to, as you know, use use guys that watch this, watch me often. I always like to read a little bit of positivity um, at the end of all my videos. And so this one says... I accept my uniqueness. There is no competition and no comparison. For, for we are all different and meant to be that way. I am special and wonderful. I love myself. Power Thoughts by Louise Hay. No, this is not being prideful either. Don't think that. Um... Because I heard somebody tell me that if you think this way, you're being prideful and it's a, a sin. And But no, you have to love yourself. You take care of yourself. You love yourself or you be no good for other people. So this is, I accept my uniqueness. There is no competition and no comparison. For we are all different and meant to be that way. I am special and wonderful. I love myself. If you don't love yourself, you can't love others. All right. And that's our power thought for today. And I'm going to let you go with that. And I'm going to work on another one of these right now. And maybe before the sun sets, I'll have another video up. Okay. So I want to say thank you so much for being here. Come back again on my next video. I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you in the movies. Bye-bye.